during the overnight hours. Notice this is at one o'clock in the morning and we have a marginal risk of severe weather that goes up to about eight mile. We're going to talk more about that coming up in our next half hour, but there is a lot more severe potential down to the south as this warm air keeps pushing on up and notice the snow to the north. They're going to get a foot of snow up there. All right, tomorrow morning, a lot of the storminess is going to be off to the east. We may even see a few cracks of sunshine in the morning and uh, there could be a shower around, but I think a lot of that will be to our east. But this is very short lived. Do not be fooled when you wake up and you look out the window or you step out the door and it's warm because this front comes in late morning to around lunchtime. This is the front edge of the cold air. As soon as this thing comes in, it clouds up. There'll be some scattered showers with it, and those showers could have very strong wind gusts, and then strong wind then settles in for the rest of the afternoon, diminishing during the evening hours, and then we clear out for Sunday into the day on Monday. All right, as far as rain amounts, looks like the heaviest amounts to the south, or there could be one to two inches of rain. There could be some urban flooding. We'll have to watch for that, although right now it doesn't be, look to be a big threat. Lesser amounts as you head to the north, now let's talk about the wind starting the day with 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts tomorrow. Then you see once that front comes in gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour guaranteed some areas are going to hit 50 miles per hour, maybe even 55 to 60 up in the northern thumb. And then you can see how quickly those gusts start to subside during the Saturday evening hours. And then real quick, starting in the 50s to near 60. Look at this as that front comes through near 60 on the east side in spots already in the 40s back to the west. By the end of the afternoon, we are in the 30s. So there's a lot that's going to change over the next 24 hours. So rising into the upper 50s tonight with those rain uh, showers and those storms. And then tomorrow starting in the upper 50s, dropping through the 30s, the strong Longest gust late morning into the early afternoon, then lots of sunshine Sunday and Monday. Still breezy on Sunday, but still 40s are not too bad. And then back into the 50s by the middle of next week, and we could have another batch of this wind coming in next Thursday as well, guys. Okay, Paul, thank you.